Boy, all right. Because you'll get your ass beat for real. Boy, you'll get your ass beat for real. So just to give you some context, right? This family right here, or these they call it a little couple right here. Girl on the phone. I think you saw her boyfriend a little bit earlier, right over here. Um these are a group of kids in Atlanta, took one of the couple's cell phones, put it in a pocket. It's like a group of them, maybe five or six, and now they're getting aggressive. And some bystanders happen to see this incident. They video it. Now there's an altercation between the bystanders and the kids who stole the phone. Ma'am, are you calling the police? No, you don't tell me what to do. I'm a grown ass woman. You better step your ass on. My nigga. You ain't gonna be around here talking in front of my woman. I'm cutting all that. Here. And I'm calling the police. Hold it, You know, a lot of incidents like this happen in Atlanta. Um, kids, middle school age, freshmen in high school age, um, in the city of Atlanta, fighting, linking up, gang fights, things like that, terrorizing law abiding citizens, right, who want to still want to enjoy the city of Atlanta, right? The uh, Atlanta Bell Line is this long uh, sidewalk. You know, where people walk and they ride their bicycles. Um, I think the Atlanta Beltline, it crosses over into different or some of the major areas in Atlanta. So that's why it's popular. It's very popular. But now a lot of the attractions in Atlanta, you can't even enjoy. The malls, you can't enjoy those no more. A lot of malls are going out of business anyways because of um, uh, uh, Amazon, right? A lot of brick and mortar businesses are uh, starting to become a thing of the past. But... A lot of the main attractions that are in the city of Atlanta, you can't really enjoy if you're just a regular citizen because the the criminals, right? These kids who are out of control, parents, you know, nowhere, um, nowhere in sight, no involvement, right? The kids there and the gang members, the drug members, they their crime, the violence, the gun violence, they're so bad, it terrorizes the citizens from being able to enjoy these attractions. It almost make you want to just leave, you know what I mean? Which if you pay rent in Atlanta, which you're probably paying two thousand dollars a month, you need to get up out of there because there's no reason for you to be spending money to live in Atlanta or going down to Atlanta to try to enjoy the attractions there when your life is on the line or people want to take your property. I'm calling the police. And this is a girl standing up to a grown man. That's, that's that's that that should tell you something about the mentality with a lot of these kids. A lot of these kids, they don't care. They don't have no sense of danger or anything like that. This girl, is, this is a little girl, probably 14, 15, standing up to this man who's probably like in his late twenties. Ma'am, are you calling? Are you calling? So just for YouTube, when they review this channel, nobody gets shot just a gun right for educational purposes but this kid here right he's probably 17 16 walking around atlanta robbing terrorizing with a, with a lot of these females these females too teenage females they just as dangerous if not in some cases more dangerous than the boys but they're walking around with a gun terrorizing people what's the point of being in a lot of these inner cities that they do have nice attractions. Like Atlanta has a lot of different areas that attract um, tourists. But what's the point of going down there when your life is on the line? Your property that you worked hard for is on the line. And the mayor, uh, former mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms of Atlanta, she knows this, did nothing, you know? And the people in this that vote for these liberal pol policies, they know this. They know Atlanta, how it is, how dangerous it is. They don't care. You know, they continue to vote these Democrat politicians in. How does defunding the police stop this right here? Black Lives Matter. Where is Black Lives Matter with this situation here that happens almost daily in the black community? You know what I mean? I just covered a video on my channel where a security guard was shot in the back of his head at point blank range in cold blood outside of a restaurant in southwest Atlanta. You know what I mean? But... When I look at this situation more, in a lot of these incidents that occur with like these teenage um, kids, 
you know, I realized that when they was probably three, four, five, somebody else in their life who was 16, 17 at the time, they were walking around like this. Guns, robbing people. He If he got a gun in his hand, he probably got drugs somewhere uh, with him as well, or he has access to drugs as well. But these kids here, these teenagers, they were once three years old, four years old, and they didn't just become like this overnight. Somebody in their household or in their... Um, in their neighborhood someone in their life was demonstrating these behaviors this lifestyle this gang street lifestyle and then they became that which is unfortunate um but that's what a lot of these social justice groups and activists need to talk about is the culture issue amongst black americans unfortunately you know what i mean what's happening right here you can almost guarantee will happen in almost every inner city that you go to you know what I mean? Now it looks like everybody backing down. But it's unfortunate. You know what I mean? It's really unfortunate. And all these kids, they done did this, right? This boy here, like he's 15 years old. They done did this, stole this lady's phone or this one of the, one of the couple's phone. And they ran off. The police ain't never going to find them. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a dangerous, it's just an unfortunate situation. You know what I mean? A lot of those inner cities. You know what I mean? Because again, like I said, they do have like a lot of uh, beautiful attractions, but the city has to understand, in my opinion, that you can't expect to generate revenue from these attractions, these restaurants, businesses will leave when you have instances, instances like this. And this is on the Atlanta Beltline. I mean, that's a popular attraction. A lot of people use that. You know what I mean? Look at this family here. They don't look like, they don't look, you know what I'm saying? They don't look like, let me see here. I'm going to get a shot of the family or the couple. Let me see. They look like they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's, what what to do. This girl's scared. She on her phone. So I'm assuming they took this guy's phone. He don't look like he is, he, you know, he's as he is as aggressive as this guy here. This six foot athletic uh, black guy here with the black hat on. So, I mean, kids like this, they look for soft targets like this. And they take advantage of them, unfortunately. But, you know, my suggestion, if you live in Atlanta and you don't want to deal with the criminal element down there, you just got to move. You got to understand that there's just some places you can't go. The malls, you can't go there no more. People are getting shot every day. They have, it's so bad at the malls in Atlanta. They have police precincts inside of the mall. So, you know, that should tell you everything you need to know. Um, I would suggest, suggest moving to a conservative area myself, but... You know, for you people that's in the inner city, if you're just a hardworking American, you need to really think about relocating. But because this situation here, I don't think anybody lost their life, but it just could have easily have been somebody got shot because the kids had a gun, you know what I mean, in the situation when they robbed this couple. But those are my two cents, guys. I could be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video. And subscribe to this channel for more content.